Hey guys, Hacks Tech here for another video tutorial. And today we're going to be talking about a way you can get back a feature that was available in Android Pie uh, for Samsung devices. Uh, so in this case, um, what we used to have on Android Pie for Samsung devices was a way to customize the way you see your open applications. So if I look at my open applications right now, you can see that I have this horizontal view uh, where, for example, I can just swipe up on an application to close it or I can do close all. Um, which is fine, but if you have a lot of open applications that you want to manage, it can be a little bit frustrating. So to figure out how to change this, the first thing you'll need to do is to go into your Galaxy Store. Now once you go in the Galaxy Store, you're going to need to search for an application, and it's called GoodLock. Now if I open this application up, you can see here that there's a number of different um, settings that you can kind of change in here and different um, add-ins. Um, so you can change a whole bunch of things in here. You can change your lock screen style. Uh, you can change your task changer, which is what we're going to be looking at here in a second. Uh, routines, all sorts of different things can be customized here. So what we're going to be primarily looking at here is the task changer. Now in the task changer, you can see that I currently don't have it in use. But if I want to change how I see my open applications, I simply select this little option here. And you can see that if I click on layout type, I can choose carousel, which is what the default is, which just kind of changes the uh, orientation of some of those windows. Um, but more so than that, uh, you can select the stack style, sort of similar to Chrome. You can choose the list style, or my favorite style, which is the slim list layout style. You can also choose whether or not you want there to be a blur background effect or not. Now this is what I currently use. You can see here it's just a lot cleaner, at least for me to be able to go in here and look at all of my open applications in this list view uh, where everything kind of just gives me um, an idea of the application that's open. I can swipe to the right to close something or close everything. I can also click on the multi-window apps option here in that bottom left corner. But the nicest thing is that if you have a lot of applications that are open and say you want to switch back to an application that you used eight apps ago, um, if you're someone that has a lot of open applications running consistently, it's a lot easier to find them here uh, versus having to go through and swipe left and right. So uh, a much better interface and, and way to kind of do that. And again, all you have to do is go in here, download the GoodLock app in the Galaxy Store, and then what you'll do is where you see that task changer option, when you click on that the first time, you'll need to install an add-on, which will just redirect you to the Galaxy Store, once you install that, then it'll appear in this list, and you can see that it just shows as installed. So that's one thing. Um, there are some other things that you can do here that are really cool as well. Um, with this Navstar option, you can see here I can actually completely customize the layout of my, um, my navigation bar here. So if I wanted to change the icons, you can see that I have different icons I can choose. So that's really nice. Um, and you can customize the order of them and everything of that nature. Uh, additionally, with the Quick Star option here, you can customize your special Quick Panel. So let's look at that. So you can adjust where your clock is oriented. So your clock position, you can change which icons you see. And so just an example here in the top right corner where you see my Wi-Fi icon, um, and some of the icons that you see in the very top right of my screen there, I used this add-in to be able to customize the position of it. And so some of those different icons, I believe in this particular case, the Wi-Fi icon was not showing by default. Um, so I had to use this application to show that up there in the top right-hand corner. But just different things like that, you can play around with the icons that you actually see in your top um, bar there. So that's really nice. So that's another add-in that you can use. Um, but there's, again, just a ton of different ways that you can customize your device using this application. And the master app that you have to download is GoodLock. Then from there, you can just play around with any of those add-ins that you want to additionally install. So that's just a quick view. Um, again, the goal of this video is to show everyone who is maybe really confused or concerned about switching to the One UI and not having some of those capabilities that were available before, um, to know that you do still have the ability to still use your device in a similar fashion to the way that you could before the One UI update. And other than some of those complaints in terms of uh, just having the horizontal view uh, and then the layout of certain things like the, the battery percentage maybe and certain, certain things in the top bar, I don't remember exactly, but there were some different things that were laid out 
um, in a way that was different from the way that they previously appeared in the Android Pie update, but using the GoodLock application, I've been able to customize all that and set it back to essentially the way that everything looked before I upgraded from the Android Pie update to One UI. Uh, and I do know that this is obviously very late because the update has been out for a while, um, but I already knew that these different changes were going to happen and I was not really happy about that, so I did hold off. But now that I have this available, um, everything works great. Battery life has been great. And uh, I'm happy and good to go. So I hope this video helps. Uh, free, feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe, or leave a like button, rather, uh, if you like the video. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.